Hello and welcome to Rockstar UK. Well, I know it's been a minute and uh, life's just been a bit hectic. Um, so, we're actually going to do some work on the 883 Sportster today. Uh, I've got a speedo relocation kit and one thing for me is this, the speedo sort of ruins the lines of the bike. I'll, sh I'll show you. So, when you look at the bike, you've got this lovely curve, but then you've got this unicorn horn that sticks up right here. So, I want to keep these up here, but the speedo we're going to relocate to a lower position, sort of you know, down there somewhere. Um, so I've got a kit for it, and hopefully it all goes nice and smooth. Because what I can see here, we've got four Allens. There's a couple of screws on the back here for this panel. Um, and this looks like it's got like a screw base on the back and then it should all slide out. And then from there, we can go and um, put it into the new kit. But um, yeah, since you last seen it, I've done a few mod more modifications. So I've got my new seat on, my new rear hugger, and my... Uh, I've got ten and a half inch shocks on the back and some new indicator brake lights that I put on. But um thoroughly enjoying riding it. It's uh it's a nice bike. And it's uh compared to driving the van every day it's pretty cheap on fuel. So I've actually got two kits. Um as you can see the two sort of speedo braces there. Um I got this handlebar clamp it's CNC machined, feels like a lightweight aluminium. Um, we'll keep our, keep our uh, light panel up here. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That will tidy the top mount up really nicely. Then, out of these two, I've been hearing mixed reviews on both. So, for example, this one I've heard of breaking along here, but I've also heard this one snapping along here. So. At least I've got two in case that does happen, but I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, but I couldn't find that on its own, so I had to buy that and that together. So, yeah, let's crack on with it. So, first of all, what I like to do is just put a bit of tape either side of your existing mount, just so you can see where the centre is. And then literally just undo these. These are a quarter inch. Four inch Allen head on mine. Yeah, yours might be different. I don't know if these are standard bolts or not, but we'll see. So take these out, and then we'll just get get to putting the other clamp on. So next clip, you'll just see this one hanging over the way, and we'll put the new one on. Looks like it's got some Loctite in there. Which I have got some, so we will get some. Clean those shreds up and then we'll put the new bolts in. I wonder if I've got, I might have some of these bolts actually. These are stainless because they're not actually rusted at all. Oh, sorry. God, that's in there, isn't it? Anyway, take all of these out and then we'll replace that. Alright, so we've got those undone. But what I want to show you is literally this is your light bar at the bottom here, and you've got one of these screws at each side, and then on here you got that two little Allen keys. So take them out, and that'll allow you to take that base out. Um, you're gonna have to reroute some of these wires where you where you see best. It's going to be interesting. I think you can unplug the actual speedo 
in, within the back so I can then re reroute it. But we'll, we'll have a look, we'll go into it and do it together. Okay, so we're at a point where we've got the, the new set. We put the, can't really see behind there, but we put the, the signal lights in there, so that's ready to go. I've checked the holes, they all line up. No, I was correct, there is a, a plug, and this is like your reset button. Um, this actually, this little boot actually unscrews, so you can take that out, um, which you have here, so it comes out the back there. I mean, mine's looking a bit old and tattered, so I'm quite grateful that I'm going to be changing it. So, there is a boot there, that's the original, that is proper heavy as well. So, a little bit of weight shedding, that's some of the Loctite, look how much was in there. And then we've got the Speedo itself, so that's where the clip comes from, you unclip it there. And you have your speedo okay so I've just had to unclip some of this wiring and it's these multicolored ones that are here and I've fed it through so that it can come to somewhere down here um, the rest of it's okay we'll get the handlebars back on and clamp that down um, then we can just basically zip tie it up, tidy it up, um, put the headlight back on and we can sort out the rest of it. Okay so we've got the handlebars all tidied up, got some Loctite in there, bolted it down, got the correct angle that I was looking for, I might turn it down a little bit more, because if you look at the side of the bike, they're flat, I don't know whether to do them in the profile, but it just feels a little bit strange. So I put them where I thought it was comfortable, I've got to get a couple of little bits, so I've got to get a new plug here and a new bolt. This one is actually for the um, the sort of like Sons of Anarchy style um, front fairing. Not a lover of it, so I need a new bolt and a, a plug for that, and one to go there. But I think that tidies up the front end massively. I really like the look of that. So next step is we've got our plug here and then we're just going to undo this bolt that's just down here or this nut and then we're going to slide on the, the mount there, plug it all up and we're all done. Oh God, it's looking good. So quite impressed with this little kit for the price of it. You get this rubber that goes all the way around and then your little clamp that clamps it all together. Don't do it up too tight because remember it's only holding plastic. And then this is a an actual machined bit of aluminium that fits nice and snug over here and all the holes line up as well which is really good. I'm quite impressed with that so let's get it finished. Okay so we literally use one of the tank bolts um, obviously I've got a um, tank riser kit in, but mounted it there, it's nice and sturdy. Uh, it's going to vibrate a little bit. <clears throat> Very impressed with the, um, the kit. The only thing I did do is on this billet piece for the back, I actually countersunk the holes so that the, the screws sit a bit more flush. But looks very good from the back. All the wires are uh, got some sort of boot around them. There's a reset button. Um, I will tidy up the wires, but that will come at a later date. Um, this is all nice and neat. Top clamp looks good. Uh, everything works. So, got a neutral light. All the lights down there. Now, I know one question a lot of people are going to have is actually, can you see it? Now, yes. If you see here, I've got one round to about, I can see to about 80 mile an hour, 90 mile an hour. Well, I only need from there to 70 anyway, because that's obviously UK roads. So 30 is the usual, 
50, 70. So yeah, you can see it from my field of view, the camera, there you go. So, but yeah, bars look so much tidier now. There's not this unicorn of a speedo sticking out here, which oh, I like it. It's looking good. But yeah, there she is. It looks so much better. You can see the, the line of the bike. I love it. Anyway, well, that was an easy install. So, thank you very much for tuning in and seeing um, a small little modification to do on the Harley. Um, the weather's been really bad here, so there's not been a massive amount of like big rides or anything like that. But um, we will get out soon. I hope hope to do a bit more like vloggy type, uh, what do you call it, motor vlogging or ride out type videos. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying the enjoying the Harley. Still got the Ruckus at the moment. I mean, it is up for sale. Should anybody want it? Um, if not, I'm going to do a. a pretty big project on it which will take a, a good couple of years I would imagine so um, please like share subscribe and I'll see all you guys in the next video